Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 93 for the year 2019, restructuring the board of the Bahrain Horse Racing Affairs Directorate. Under Article 1, the board comprises Sheikh Dhej bin Salman bin Mbarak Al Khalifa as chairman and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid bin Muhammad Al Khalifa, Dr. Khalid Ahmed Hassan Fawzi Abdullah Nas. Haider Rafi Al Zarbi and Bashar Mustafa Sayyid as members. The board members are appointed for a renewable four year term. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Lebanon, Michel Aoun, on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander and President of the Supreme Defense Council, chaired today the Council's meeting held at Sakhir Palace. The Council discussed the topics listed on its agenda, which included following up on accomplishments, evaluating them, and setting goals to raise defense and security capabilities, as well as reach appropriate decisions for the security and stability of citizens and residents. His Majesty expressed thanks to the members of the Bahrain Defense Force the Ministry of Interior, the Royal Guard and the National Security Agency for their efforts in protecting the Kingdom's gains and achievements. His Majesty the King affirmed that the responsibility is shared among citizens for the country's development and security, wishing them further success. <laughs> His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 29 of the year 2019, adding a new item to Edict 9 of the year 2019 regarding the restructuring of the Board of the Water Resources Council. Edict 28 stipulates that the addition of 8, the Minister of Oil, His Royal Highness, also issued Edict 29 of the year 2019 on setting up and forming the Health Quality and Clinical Standards Committee. The edict stipulates that the committee shall report to the Supreme Council for Health, the SCH, and comprise of the representatives of the Supreme Council for Health and the Bahrain Medical Society, public hospitals and the National Health Regulatory Authority. Members also include quality officials of the Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Center, primary health care, the Bahrain Defense Force Hospital, the King Hamad University Hospital, the Public Health Directorate at the Ministry of Health and private health sectors. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, also issued Edict 30 of the year 2019 on establishing and forming the Health Strategic Training and Planning, Planning Committee. The edict stipulates that the committee shall report to the Supreme Council for Health, the SCH, and comprise the representatives of the following entities. The Supreme Council for Health, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Cardiac Center, King Hamad University Hospital, Government Hospitals, Primary Health Care Centers, Bahrain Defense Force Hospital, Private Health Sector, Medical University of Bahrain, Arabian Gulf University, University of Bahrain, Information and E-Government Authority. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Lebanon Michel Aoun on his country's Independence Day. The court of His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa announced that His Royal Highness has left Bahrain on a private trip abroad and to undergo further medical examinations. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Lebanon, Michel Aoun, on his country's Independence Day. Under the patronage of the Minister of Labor and Social Development and Chairman of the National Child Committee, Jamil Ahmedan, the Children and Mothers Welfare Society held today a celebration on the occasion of World Children's Day. 
The minister affirmed that protecting children is a constitutional right and praised the role of the government in taking care of children, which reflects Bahrain's commitment to abide by Arab and international agreements. He said that the kingdom made numerous achievements for children and added that the ministry established a number of clubs for children across the kingdom. The chairman of the Children and Mothers Welfare Society, Sheikha Hind bint Salman Al Khalifa, affirmed that Bahrain is one of the first countries that prioritizes the needs of children, medically and scientifically, in addition to issuing a number of strategies and legislations praising the role of the government in this regard. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Zaid bin Rashid Al Zayani, was awarded the First Class Arab Tourism Medal, which is the highest medal awarded to prominent figures at the regional level, who had a major role in developing the joint Arab work in the field of tourism industry. The award was granted by the Arab Tourism Organization during the second Arab Forum for Tourism Security, Tourism and Security, Two Pillars for Development, which is held under the patronage of the Governor of the Eastern Province in Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness Prince Saud bin Naif bin Abdelaziz Al Saud, with the participation of a number of ministers of tourism, the League of Arab States and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation. He affirmed that Bahrain is steadily moving towards developing tourism in Bahrain according to the government's vision under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the supervision of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He noted that the positive indicators proved by figures are an incentive to exert more efforts towards the strategy of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority to make tourism an effective element through its contribution to the gross domestic product and the development of tourism products. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation for this achievement, which was a result of the directives of Bahrain's leadership. Bahrain Journalists Association organized in the presence of the Minister of Information Affairs Ali bin Mohammed Ramahi and a number of senior officials in the journalism and media sector from Bahrain and Saudi Arabia a reception ceremony to sign a cooperation agreement with the Saudi Journalists Association. Ramahi hailed the historic relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia in various fields asserting the leading role of Saudi Arabia led by the custodian of the two holy mosques and the crown prince and maintaining security and stability in the region. He expressed pleasure in the steps Bahrain Journalists Association takes to bolster cooperation and coordination between the two countries in the journalists and media sector. The president of Bahrain Journalists Association, Ahadi Ahmed Sayyid, affirmed that the agreement represents the first initiative of its kind between the two countries in the journalism field, noting that the agreement comes in line with the cooperation between the two associations. She hailed the support and encouragement of the two countries' leaders to practice freedom of speech and develop journalism. On the sidelines of the General uh, Conference of UNESCO, the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh May bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, participated in the form of Ministers of Culture held at UNESCO's headquarters in Paris in the presence of ministers and officials in the culture sectors from over 140 countries. Sheikh May stated that Bahrain strives to establish cultural infrastructures that enable it to make many achievements and enhance its regional and international status, noting that, or noting that includes the Pearl Path on the World Heritage List and is considered a global model for sustainable development. She affirmed that the Pearl Path location project contributed to enhancing Muharraq's infrastructure, noting that the project revived social and economic practices.